Hello, it is Saturday the 25th of March 2017 and welcome to the sixth in my video log series. My name is Councillor Graham Campbell and I've been representing the people of Avondale and Stonehouse in South Lanarkshire Council since May 2007. This week I want to talk about crime and policing. Uh, but the first thing I do want to say is that policing in Scotland is a reserved devolved matter. And what that simply means is that the police function is funded and managed from the Department of Justice in Edinburgh. And therefore your local authorities, in this case South Lanarkshire Council, actually have very little control over policing in this area. But what I will say is that um, in the last 10 years, I believe I'd have a very good working relationship with the police here in Avondale, uh, covered uh, from East Kilbride, looking after Straven and rural Avondale, and from Lark Hall, looking after the Stonehouse area. And as one of the four elected members looking after Avondale, um, I have regular meetings with the inspectors, both in Lark Hall and in East Kilbride, looking at policing across Avondale, looking at the statistics, and uh, working with the inspectors to make priorities and decide where we should redirect policing where there are hot spots. And yes, there have been hot spots in the past. For example, rural crime did peak uh, two years ago where we were seeing quad bikes and farming equipment removed from the rural farms um, around this area. We also saw gangs uh, just over 12 months ago uh, breaking into properties in the Straven area, uh, specifically targeting car keys because cars are inherently very difficult to steal these days. Um, so sadly the only way the criminals can gain access to our cars is to break into houses, uh, steal the keys and then steal the car. Uh, but again, um, just like rural crime, I have been working with the police. We have been targeting it through overt and covert policing across Avondale and thank goodness the police have done a very good job and most of the car crime that we saw 12 months ago was detected and those were those criminals were found arrested and subsequently convicted. Um, rural crime does remain difficult to solve uh, because I think we all have to accept that we cannot have police everywhere all of the time. On house break-ins specifically I, I would really struggle to remember over the last 10 years um, a time where we saw a lot of house break-ins um, across Straven, rural Avondale or Stonehouse. The vast majority of breaking and entry crime recorded uh, in this area are actually sheds. Uh, they're not houses at all. So again, I would love to emphasize that Avondale is an extremely safe place to live, an extremely safe place to bring up our families and enjoy ourselves. However, one of the biggest challenges I still face and will probably continue to face uh, in my career as a counsellor is antisocial behaviour. And luckily we don't have many of these individuals, but there are individuals across Avondale who desire to live their lives in a chaotic fashion and not by the rules that the rest of us think are normal. So my solution has always been to work in partnership with the police, with the council's antisocial behaviour team and with the council's housing department. And as a result, in the last 10 years, the vast majority of my antisocial behaviour cases have tended to resolve themselves. And again, in the last 10 years, I can only really count two or three individuals that we have had to move from this area to another area and it's not ideal because um, if an individual refuses to live their life um, the way we would expect them to here in Avondale they're certainly not going to an East Kilbride or Hamilton so moving them on is simply moving individuals uh, and their problems to other areas which is not ideal either. Probably the biggest policing issue that I face on a day-to-day -day basis is traffic. And I think it is fair to say that probably all of us who drive um, across Avondale uh, see some horrendous driving on a near daily basis. When somebody dies on our roads, um, believe it or not, uh, as a counsellor, the police are duty bound to call me and let me know. And this is where I'm touching wood and saying thank goodness because again in the 10 years that I've been a counsellor I have only received that phone call twice or maybe three times and 
Given that we have the busy A71, 723 and 725 in this area, I actually think that um, while driving um, can be sometimes poor in the main, the vast majority of drivers in this area are driving well within the law and within the limits of their own abilities and the cars they're driving. But the key is never to get complacent and as a councillor I remain um, working very closely with the police and with the council roads department to ensure that when we do have accidents they are reported, they are recorded and we look at how we can ensure that the same accident doesn't happen again. So I'm constantly uh, bidding for additional resource uh, in partnership with the local inspectors in Lark Hall and East Kilbride to get uh, traffic resource to our roads here in Avondale so that uh, we are cutting down on bad driving and illegal driving. But I think we all have to accept that the police cannot be everywhere at once and uh, the crime that we do get uh, while very low and the uh, bad behaviour that we do see um, on a near daily basis on our roads will sadly continue. But through education and the continual resources that I bid for and apply for and get on a monthly, bi-monthly basis, will slowly but surely continue to reduce the crime and reduce um, the road offending that we're seeing across Avondale. So if I'm to conclude and give you my report on crime and policing across Avondale, I would say that we've got it pretty good in this part of South Lanarkshire. So if re-elected in May, on May the 4th this year, I promise to continue to work very closely with the inspectors in East Cabride and Lark Hall uh, to ensure that crime in Avondale remains as low as it possibly can. But before I finish, I would like to draw everyone's attention to the Scottish Policing 2026 consultation project. So this is your opportunity to shape how policing is delivered here in Avondale South Lanarkshire Council and across Scotland over the next 10 years. So I would ask you to please take the time, log on to the website that you see displayed in front of you and tell Police Scotland how you would like to see policing in this area delivered between now and 2026. So my name is Graham Campbell and I'm the Conservative and Unionist Party candidate for South Lanarkshire Council Ward 5, Avondale and Stonehouse. Looking for your support on Thursday the 4th of May 2017. Thank you for watching.